In philosophy, identity, from Latin, identitas, sameness, is the relation each thing bears only to itself. The notion of identity gives rise to many philosophical problems, including the identity of indiscernibles if X and Y share all their properties, are they one and the same thing, and questions about change and personal identity over time what has to be the case for a person X at one time and a person Y at a later time to be one and the same person. The philosophical concept of identity is distinct from the more well-known notion of identity in use in psychology and the social sciences. The philosophical concept concerns a relation, specifically, a relation that X and Y stand in if, and only if they are one and the same thing, or identical to each other i.e. if, and only if X equals Y. The sociological notion of identity, by contrast, has to do with a person's self-conception, social presentation, and more generally, the aspects of a person that make them unique, or qualitatively different from others e.g. cultural identity, gender identity, national identity, online identity and processes of identity formation. Topic. Metaphysics of identity Metaphysicians, and sometimes philosophers of language and mind, ask other questions. What does it mean for an object to be the same as itself? If X and Y are identical, are the same thing, must they always be identical? Are they necessarily identical? What does it mean for an object to be the same, if it changes over time? Is applet the same as applet plus one? If an object's parts are entirely replaced over time, as in the ship of Theseus example, in what way is it the same? The law of identity originates from classical antiquity. The modern formulation of identity is that of Gottfried Leibniz, who held that X is the same as Y if and only if every predicate true of X is true of Y as well. Leibniz's ideas have taken root in the philosophy of mathematics, where they have influenced the development of the predicate calculus as Leibniz's law. Mathematicians sometimes distinguish identity from equality. More mundanely, an identity in mathematics may be an equation that holds true for all values of a variable. Hegel argued that things are inherently self-contradictory and that the notion of something being self-identical only made sense if it were not also not identical or different from itself and did not also imply the latter. In Hegel's words, "...identity is the identity of identity and non-identity." More recent metaphysicians have discussed trans-world identity—the notion that there can be the same object in different possible worlds. An alternative to trans-world identity is the counterpart relation in counterpart theory. It is a similarity relation that rejects trans-world individuals and instead defends an object's counterpart, the most similar object. Some philosophers have denied that there is such a relation as identity. Thus Ludwig Wittgenstein writes Tractatus 5.5301, that identity is not a relation between objects is obvious. At 5.5303 he elaborates, roughly speaking, to say of two things that they are identical is nonsense, and to say of one thing that it is identical with itself is to say nothing. Bertrand Russell had earlier voiced a worry that seems to be motivating Wittgenstein's point the principles of mathematics section 64. Identity, an objector may urge, cannot be anything at all, two terms plainly are not identical, and one term cannot be, for what is it identical with? Even before Russell, Gottlob Frege, at the beginning of On Sense and Reference, expressed a worry with regard to identity as a relation. Equality gives rise to challenging questions which are not altogether easy to answer. Is it a relation? More recently, C. J. F. Williams has suggested that identity should be viewed as a second-order relation, rather than a relation between objects, and Kai Wemeyer has argued that appealing to a binary relation that every object bears to itself, and to no others, is both logically unnecessary and metaphysically suspect. Topic. Identity statements Kind terms, or sortals give a criterion of identity and non-identity among items of their kind. Topic. See also Counterpart theory Difference philosophy Four-dimensionalism, perdurantism Topic. Notes Topic. References 
Galois, A. 1998, Occasions of Identity. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-823744-8 Google Books Parfit, D. 1984, Reasons and Persons. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19824908-X Google Books Robinson, D. 1985, Can Amoebae Divide Without Multiplying? Australasian Journal of Philosophy, 63 299-319 doi 10.1080/0004840851234190101 Sidel A2000 Review of Galois 1998 Philosophical Review 109 3 469 to 471 JSTOR Cider T2001 Review of Galois 1998 British Journal for the Philosophy Science, 52, 401-405. doi, 10.1093, BJPS, 52.2.401. External links Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Identity, first published Wednesday, December 15, 2004, Substantive Revision Sunday, October 1, 2006. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Identity Over Time. First published Friday, 18 March 2005. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Personal Identity. First published Tuesday, August 20, 2002, Substantive Revision Tuesday, February 20, 2007. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Relative Identity. First published Monday, of April 2002. Fernando Andict, Mariella Michel, A Semiotic Reflection on Self-Interpretation and Identity.